Hello everyone, I'm TG and welcome back to the House of Sleaze. Today I'm checking out a build that, quite honestly, I never thought that I would be using. But I was messing around a little bit and it turns out this is actually pretty viable. We're seeing a lot more Daniels and Annettes these days and they are very strong. And this build in particular does quite well against them. So let's take a look. Now to start things off with, I'm using the Hot Dogger and I know nobody gives Hot Dogger more shit than me. But it's actually pretty important for this build, because it's going to allow us to counter enemy grabs. Next, I'm using Rapid Cooldown, that way we can juke and jive our way across the map. And for her B&E Specialist, I'm using Breakaway, which when combined with the Hot Dogger, pretty much gives you immunity to grabs from the front. Lastly, I'm using Run and Gun, and this one's not very important, but Run and Gun is the only thing that works with melee, because if you're aiming your Hot Dogger, you can actually move a little bit quicker. So when it comes to her equipment, I'm going with Umbrella Credit Card, Wallet 3, Iron Nails 2, and Mixtape 3. The reason I'm using Wallet 3 over Decoder 3 is, whenever I'm solo queuing, I find if there's not a Valerie running full support, you actually get more use out of Wallet. What this is going to do is make it so you start with 500 Umbrella Credits, which means you can buy the weapon you want, any herbs you need, repair kits, and some explosives if you're so inclined. As for the Iron Nails too, that's pretty self-explanatory, it's just to give us a little bit of boost to our melee damage, especially because we're going to be focusing so much on the Hot Dogger. Which leads me to our Mixtape 3, and this is going to make it so your Hot Dogger is pretty much up all the time. If you're not using it, you're benefiting from being a specialist. So I'm going to show you guys a match that I played earlier using this build, which surprised the hell out of me. Because I was just using Hot Dogger for the lulls, and it turned out I actually really like this build. So let's check it out. Ooh, and a net. Fantastic. This should be some fun. If you're be hot dogging up a storm. Ah, torch? That's no good. Guess I'm gonna need to pour all my money into repair kits. Because this torch ain't gonna last long, especially if she's going thick in that. Whoa. Haven't seen somebody put a piece there in a long time. So I hope the old team doesn't get too mad when they see I'm going melee. Because I know that is, uh, it's basically a meme now to go for melee Jill. But I'm going to show them that I think it can work. I mean, the Hot Dogger does get a lot of shit, but I was testing it out, and if your latency is on point, it's actually pretty damn good. Whoa, how are these attacks missing? What the fuck? That was bizarre. Jeez, I just burned through my repair kits. No pun intended. Oh man, Valor just got in and got the fuck out. She knows what she's doing. Back it up. Look at that, that's a teammate right there, Tyrone. Over there looking like Lord Humongous from Mad Max. Alright, so five minutes, a wash. I'll take it. Not too bad considering it's a net. Now, Valerie would just put down that heal, that would be just spectacular. Beautiful. Okay, let's drop this torch. It's hurting me. I guess don't have much of a choice here. I'm gonna have to conserve my durability. So pretty quiet out here. Oh, as I say that. Oh, 
man. Just going mad with the liquors. Alright, let's hot dog it up. Oh, I don't think so. So, good thing about using the hot dogger these days is we're seeing a lot more IVs because of the uh, converter mods. And it makes short work of them. So if you're going against the net or a spam Spencer, it's not too bad. All right. I gotta go get me a herb. So if you think you're wasting time stopping off in the middle of a match to go buy some blue herbs, it is 100% not a waste of time because you're going to hurt your team if you're coughing up a storm. Damn, this liquor is chonk. Now, I'm probably going to regret this, but... I gotta take this liquor down. Uh, you know what? I should have just kicked it. Because in case you don't know, you can stun lock pretty much any creature that's on the ground, including a liquor, with Jill's kick. Oh, and nobody's around. See, that teaches you kids don't be a hero. And I just know they're all thinking, well, what's the point of helping her? She's just being a fucking Jill. Make your peace. I mean, I guess this works out because I'll be close to the exit now and all the terminals are done. Why don't you just die? And again, it looks like we're going to end things off with about five minutes, so... We're going pretty toe-to-toe -to -toe with this mastermind here. Whoa, well, what am I doing? Let's get out of here. So, would this be more effective if I was just going for guns? You know, not quite quite honestly probably but this is a lot more fun and the hot dogger is not quite as shit as I initially thought also the good thing about going melee with Jill is it transitions very well into area 3 because her swing is so fast she can take down bio cores like it's nothing oh flash grenade don't mind if I do So of all the masterminds that go for creature heavy builds, I would say Annette is probably going to have the easiest time against this build, just because her creatures are so thick that the Hot Dogger just doesn't do enough damage fast enough to really make it that viable. Well, that was a wasted Birkin. See, this is what I love about Jill's swing, is it goes up and down. You can hit things on the ground with her double swing, and that is pretty great. She's the only survivor that does that. Man, these liquors. All right, we clean that area up quite nicely. All right, back it up there, Ivy. Now, 
Now, I would like to say that the Hot Dogger has some kind of viability against bioweapons, but it really doesn't. You're better off with the Samurai Edge or the Rocket Launcher, either or. If you want to try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Birkin using the Hot Dogger, be my guest, because I'm not going to do it, as <laughs> I just don't think it's going to go well. We'll just sneak in a few hits here. You can see how fast that Jill melts these bio cores though. She has one of the fastest melee swings in the game with the bat. Alright, lucky last. Let's just pop over here for a second. Doesn't hurt to get some explosives. Speaking of which, I did toy with an idea of modifying this build a little bit where instead of going for melee damage, I use H2 canisters and really focus my economy on explosives. And it works pretty well, but you're really banking on having a Valerie around with surplus because even if you're pouring your money into explosives, you are going to run out quite quickly. Man, and since they changed the imposter zombies to actually do the triple swing, uh, which is a great addition by the way, I actually find myself being tricked by them. Oh no. So the bane, the bane of melee Jill is her weak HP pool. What I do like about her though, it's much like what I like about Spencer these days, is all the options that you get. You can really make Jill whatever you want to make her. If you want to go for guns, you want to go for melee, hell, if you want to go for explosives, you can do it. Just like Spencer, if you want to go for traps, creatures, guns, it's really up to you. They're really the jack of all trades and those are my favorite characters to play these days just because I like to experiment and we're at a place in the game where the meta is so focused that we're not seeing that much difference in builds when it comes to survivors and masterminds so I really like to think outside the box and have a little bit of fun now it seems like that's all she wrote holy fucking shit the doors open so that was close quarters Jill a hell of a lot of fun and I encourage you guys to try it and see if you like it so as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. If not, meh. Keep it sleazy.